Look how beautiful Soles is, Karen at Soul Magic 99. And this is a sort of continuation of yesterday's feelings video, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine on YouTube. And this is how deep is your love. So we're going to go a bit deeper with these emotions and feelings. So we've got Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So we'll start off with the Divine Masculine emotions, feelings. So what's going on with him? Thank you all for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. So we've got the King of Coins energy. So this could be your masculine. He could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is somebody who's, you know, financially stable. They've done well. They're in a good place. And they're wanting that home. They're wanting that family. They feel they want that stability in their lives. Three of Arrows. So they, they did feel heartbreak as well. This is, you know, for those of you in separation, no contact. Even... Despite appearances, they may not have appeared to be heartbroken, but they were definitely heartbroken over this period of separation, no contact. Definitely heartbroken over this connection of not being in contact with you, of having to separate and not being able to be with you at that time. And they're hoping for judgment in their favour. They're hoping that you won't judge them too harshly in their behaviours, they're hoping that you will forgive them for things they've said and done because they were not in a good place at that time and they're hoping that you want judgement on that and that you will give them a chance to come forward because they're moving away from the past, they're moving away from the past a situation they may have been in, a past connection they may have been in like trying to get out of an end of a connection, a relationship with somebody else, maybe going through a divorce, moving away from past habits, past behaviours, past addictions, you know, past negativity. They want to move ahead, move forward into smooth waters towards you, is what I'm feeling. Because they've been burdened, they've had a lot on their plate in their life, and I'm not saying the feminines haven't. And they've had a lot to deal with and they've had a lot on their plate. You know, this could be home, work, family, you know, children. They could have responsibilities in a lot of other areas of their life. And they just didn't feel they had the time or energy to spend with their feminine at that time. But the 10 is the good news because they're coming to the end of that cycle. They're putting down those burdens and it's time for a fresh start. As we saw with the Six of Arrows and moving away from that energy. So some of them could be um, air signs, king of arrows, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But it could just be that energy, you know, they were somebody that wasn't in touch with their emotions. They were very much up in their head, very logical. They could have been guarded emotionally, didn't want to let their guard down. And we've got king of staves as well here. So that's air uh, air. Sorry, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel they have a lot of passion and desire for you, whether they're fire sign or not. As you can see, there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of desire here, okay, for their feminines. They want to come forward with passion here. They've gained a lot of wisdom. They've really gone within, I feel, and they've really, you know, gone deep within themselves, done that healing work really received enlightenment and that they're, they're going to act on that wisdom they've gained clarity and wisdom here and they want to come forward and offer you this cup of love the page is a small offer but it's the start they want to start something with you they want to be romantic they want to tell you how they feel and they want to start something they want to have that fresh beginning with you and we've got the moon in the background which is the moon energies between the full and the new moon energies, okay? Yeah, they've had a lot of sorrow. They have been very sad over this connection, okay? Despite appearances, you know, they had that heartbreak and they did cry. They did cry. They did have tears of sadness and sorrow and, you know, frustration at themselves, I feel, as well. But they, they want to go on that path, the golden path to enlightenment. They want to go on that spiritual journey. They have been receiving information and they are starting out on this path and they want to join you on that path 
and walk together with you on this path to enlightenment, to spiritual development, to help others on the journey. And they do feel this connection with you. They feel grounded when they've been in your energy. And they do feel this solid connection. And this is a soul connection. Your hearts are connected. You've known each other in many, many lifetimes. And they could have come into recent awareness about that fact. Yeah, they're receiving divine guidance. They're really getting some information. And they're starting to listen to their intuition, to the higher self. They may be getting messages from guides and angels as well. And actually, you know, listening to this guidance at this time. They're starting to live in the moment. They're starting to appreciate the moment. I think a lot of the masculines were living in the past. Living in past connections, past disappointments, past behaviours. Very much stuck in the past, but they're starting to live in the moment. And to realise that there is love here for them. There is a loving connection here for them. And they're starting to appreciate that. And they're starting to have that self-love, that self-love. So that they can, you know, their cup is overflowing. So that they're in a position to offer a cup of love to their connection. They want to have romance in their life. They want to be romantic. They want to lavish their divine feminine with love. They want to take you dancing. They want to look into your eyes and tell you how much you mean to them. They want to give you the attention and affection that you're probably craving. They want to lavish you with that attention and, and affection. And they want you to know that they're choosing love. They're choosing love and before they didn't choose love because they didn't have love for themselves. But they've worked on that. They're working on that as we speak. They're going to be in that energy of self-love and they want to choose a loving connection. They want to choose their divine feminine. They want to show you how much you mean to them. They want you to know that when you're asleep at night they embrace you. In spirit, they're around you, their energies around you, comforting you, loving you, holding you close because you can't be together in the 3D at the moment. And they want you to know that they love you to infinity. You've had many lifetimes together. You've probably been married in other lifetimes. They may have had visions or dreams about this. And they know that they will meet you again in another lifetime because you've known each other over and over again in many, many lifetimes. They wonder if you are on the same page as them now, if you are wanting to move forward in this connection. And they definitely have feelings for you, okay, and they're becoming aware of that. But they have to start on that self-love energy first. And they want to get closer, they want to have that intimacy with you. You know, it's not just about sex, although they do want that with you, a sexual relationship, but they have that love for you. They have such intense desires for you. They really want you. They're feeling that passion. And part of them wants to rush forward with that passion. But they know they need to come in the, the right way towards you with that offer of love. So they want to say, I crave your sexual healing. I fantasize about pleasing you every day. And I'm on fire waiting for you. As I said, there's a lot of sexual passion. Your love makes me feel untouchable, invincible. You make me stronger, happier and wiser. Your love is the greatest love I've ever known. I'm not currently feeling in the right place for a relationship right now. I do see us together in future and I believe you are my destiny. So they're still doing some work on themselves right now. It really hurts me to keep my distance, but I just can't give you what you deserve at this time. So they want, as I said, they want to come forward correctly. They want to come forward when they're in that right place in their own heart in their own mind, in their own energy. So what are they desiring? You know, they want those intimate embraces. They want to love you. They want to make love to you, basically. They want to kiss you, snog you, hold you close. They're longing for you. They're wanting you. They're wanting you in their lives. They're wanting you next to them. And they want to please you. They want to know what... What would please you? How can they please you? They want to know all your secrets. 
and they miss your tenderness, your gentle loving kindness and affection. And they want to show it to you because maybe they didn't show this side of, of them to you. And they may be remembering you, you maybe you wore sexy underwear for them and sexy lingerie and they longing and yearning and desire for you to see you like that again, to be with you like that, to feel your skin. And they want that sensual pleasure with you, to talk dirty to you in the bedroom. They want to express their love in that way to you. Laying in the sheets next to you after our lovemaking, we are hot and sweaty. And I want you to cover me of your body again and your love. So they're really missing those times that you may have shared. Oh my God, I love your ass. It's so cute, so rounded, so tempting. And when I pass, to just give it a squeeze, it makes me laugh. So they love the shape of you. And their final message, you're amazing. You never stop surprising me, baby. So you're constantly on their minds, okay? But they And they do want to come forward, but they want to come forward in the right way. So I'm going to pause the video and then we'll get the feminine messages. Hello there, we're back with the Divine Feminine Messages. So we've got justice here. So I feel the Divine Feminine is seeking justice, you know, in her life. She wants what's fair. She wants what she feels she deserves. You know, she may have had many ups and downs. And she just wants that justice. She wants to feel happy in her life. She wants to feel connected. And she desires her Divine Masculine. She wants to be with him and hold him in her arms. And really let him love, let her love him the way she wants to. And be that partner, be that loving partner for him. But until he's ready for that, she knows she cannot. And there could have been a lot of conflict between you. You know, you couldn't agree. Obviously, maybe one of you, like the feminine, was probably further ahead in her development. The masculine wasn't ready to hear that. And there was conflict. And I feel the feminines walked away because you were not getting your needs met. A lot of you walked away from this connection because you're walking towards something you wanted, like a proper love connection. Because at that time, the masculine couldn't give you what you needed. But you want that reconciliation. You're missing your masculine. You're thinking about the times you shared together. And you may again have past life flashbacks or dreams. Memories come to you, the times that you spent together in a proper relationship, in a loving relationship, and you want that again with your masculine. Because you have a big cup of love, and you are full of love, you're full of self-love, and you want to share that love with your masculine, you want to offer him your cup of love. But you may have tried to do that before, and he may have rejected it, and that's why you, you walked away, some of you. And you've been stuck up in your head, you know, you've been stuck up in your mind, Instead of in your feelings, you went up into your mind, into confusion. You're not sure what way to go forward. Yeah, confusion with the Seven of Cups. You're not sure what's going on. But you know you have choices in love. You you know there are more choices for you um, available to you. But you're in a state of confusion at the moment. But all you know is that you have this love here for your masculine. This divine love, this unconditional love, and you want to be with your masculine. And you love him unconditionally no matter what is going on in the 3D. And you've done a lot of spiritual growth in this connection. This connection could have triggered you into a lot of spiritual growth. Um, you've gone deep, you've really done that healing work. You've really opened up your chakras. You're opening up to your gifts, your spiritual gifts, your creative gifts. And you've done a lot of growing in this in this period of connection. And you've transmuted a lot of negative energy within you. You've transmuted a lot of old pains, old hurts. You've really brought it to the light to release it, to release the pain, to release those negative feelings from you. Because you want to celebrate. You, you want to have that peace in your life. You want to celebrate the way you're feeling. You want to be able to celebrate love in your life. And you'd like to find that peace with your masculine. And you want that abundance in your life. You want this life full of abundance in love, 
in family, in home, in finances. You want this abundance. And you f you're in that energy of feeling worthy of this abundance now. And you want to be supportive. You're always supportive. You've always been supportive of your masculine, no matter what. But you didn't feel he reciprocated that. And you, you want that supportive energy in your life. You want somebody that supports you and shows you that they care. But you know you are limitless. You know that you can do anything you choose. You know you can manifest your own desires. And you can reap what you sow. And you, you're putting that good out into the world. And you're in that energy of feeling grateful. Being, being grateful for what you do have. And you're, you're feeling that faith. You have that faith. You've been through such a transformation in your life. You've been through so much. But you have faith. You have faith in the divine. You have faith in this situation. And what will be, will be. You, you realise that. You, you have faith and trust in that. You know that you and your masculine have always been together. And eternally best friends. You've known each other for many lifetimes. You could have been childhood friends in some lifetimes. You've got this soul connection that never ends. And you are trusting. It says, trust me, we'll be together again. You are trusting in this. You're trusting in the divine. You know that you will be together with your masculine at some point. Because that is your destiny. And you know that he's the person you've been searching for. He was the one that you've been searching for all your life you felt that when you met and you have unconditional love for this person you know no matter what and it was such an instant attraction and you want to see them again you miss them and you want to get closer you want to share yourselves with each other you want to share everything about you with your masculine to get closer and you want to have those passionate moments again. You want to feel intimacy. You want to show him how you feel with those passionate kisses and love making. And you want that commitment. You want that commitment from your masculine. You want to be in a committed relationship. And this is what you're wanting. So what does the family want to say? Every night I just want to be home and home is in your arms. You felt so at home with each other. I love the sound of your voice. I hear you speak with me telepathically in dreams and I long to talk with you again. So you're really missing the sound of their voice. I like so many things about you. I don't even know how to tell you that. I love everything about you. I think you were made for me and I was made for you. So, you know, nobody's perfect, but you do love the essence of the person. <clears throat> Not talking to you breaks my heart and soul into a billion shattered pieces. I want to reach out, but I can't find the right words. And I'm feeling so fragile right now. So I think it's right that the feminine should stay in that receptive energy. And don't reach out. Let the masculine reach out to you. But you want to go for this connection. You just want to go for it and live your life. And you feel excited. You know, your masculine really does excite you and turn you on. And you just want to show him how much... And you want to have bath time soapy fun with your masculine. Have those romantic baths together with champagne and candles and soft music, soft lights. And you want to tease him and tempt him because you know exactly how to please him. Yeah, you want to seduce him. You want to tease him, arouse him because you know that you can. And you want to really kiss every inch of each other's body and arouse and have those sensual moments together because with each other you felt uninhibited you felt in tune and in sync which with each other in those sensual sexual ways the feel of your skin next to mine is so damn fine i want to make you always mine i dream of you at night being in my bed and we make love all night we cannot get enough and this file will not go out and the final message, when I look in your eyes, I see your soul. So there are your messages, sending you lots of love, many blessings, take care.